My new work has been released, welcome everyone to read my work in Tomato Novel. I hope everyone can enjoy it. Your attention is the driving force behind my writing, and I will strive to tell every story well. This is my first time writing a novel, and I love reading. It's also my first time starting to write a book. I hope everyone can show mercy. Chapter 1 I come from Stardust. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Now is fantasy time. New book me out thank you for clicking in. I hope you can like my book. There may be many shortcomings when writing a book for the first time, but I hope everyone can point them out and make some minor changes. The concepts in this book may be a bit confusing, but please continue reading Epsilon, plus, thank you very much for reading. Ha ha ha, you trash, is living a waste of air. Yeah, why don't people like you just disappear to avoid getting upset on the road? Two so dot called friends stepped on Zetian's feet, and one of them said, TSK, your face looks really annoying. Hmph. Long Tian kicked Zetian's abdomen hard with the back of his foot, oh, poop. Zetian couldn't help but vomit water from the pain in his abdomen, ugh, it's so dirty. It's really disgusting. Garbage, shouldn't garbage be in the trash can? Why join the fun outside? Long Xia mentions Zetian's hair, hey, don't pretend to be garbage. In the future, when you see us, you should call us ye. Did you hear that? Zetian didn't give any answer, his eyes staring blankly at Long Xia's eyes, I can't stand your cold face the most. Get lost. Long Xia punched Zetian hard in the face Zetian's face flashed with a hint of emotion, but soon regained his expression. Long Xia and Long Tian shook off Zetian and left happily for this free sandbag, the Long brothers are very willing to fight it out, after all, if the other party has no background or assets, even if they report it to the police, it will not have any impact on them. Zetian stood up and patted the dust off his body. Lao K, check your body condition, physical condition. The abdomen has been severely impacted, the head has been slightly shaken, and overall minor injuries have already caused a significant impact on the body of ordinary people. Hey! Zero, are you planning to be hit by them like this? The organization has instructed me not to showcase my abilities or engage in extreme behavior before the goal is achieved. Do you think I want to be beaten by them? Sai. Zetian one of the members of the Star Protection Program, as far as Blue Star is concerned, only Zetian is a secret taskmaster arranged by the Interstellar Standardization Administration in today's universe, members of the Everbright criminals committed crimes against the wind, hoping to seize a place on a planet to commit crimes. This is a great provocation for the Bureau of Standards. As the first experimental subject to be assigned a task, Zetian was injected into the body of a newborn by the organization because the organization could not appear openly in front of an unknown planet and did not intervene too much in order to avoid causing trouble. Now in this young man's body, rather than being said to have been replaced by the consciousness of the experimental subject, the original owner of Zetian has been replaced. In order to simulate the consciousness and behavior of the original planet humans, the experimental experience integrates some of the original owner's psychology. Zetian's family is an ordinary family that is not wealthy or poor. They have a car, a house, but no mortgage, and the family is relatively successful. The fusion of Zetian's original owner's mind and his family is relatively harmonious. P.S. Zetian and other experimental subjects are directly combined with humans during infancy, which means they have already completed the fusion in the mother's body. Combined with high-dot-tech calculations, it can be inferred that the original owner's future mind can simulate a flawless original planet person. But if you say that, there's no one in the organization. Can't you take action and teach them a lesson? Lao K, do you know who those two thieves are? Their family has a big business, and I can't afford to provoke them. Their family is the only leader of the six major families, the dragon family. Any fart can kill an ordinary person's family, Zetian said helplessly. Lao K was released by the organization to assist the experimental subjects in carrying out tasks, commonly known as the helper, 
originally codenamed K.0001. I just woke up and slept in your body for so long. It's been a long time since my buddies showed their talents. Yeah, as an assistant, I haven't asked you about your abilities yet. You can speak politely. Without you, Lao K, you wouldn't have been able to complete the task. To be honest, the organization once said that as long as one becomes an identity, they can relate to a large area and do anything idle. If you want to fart, even if you become a global leader and the planet is in danger, you still have to take action. As soon as the words fell, a childish voice rang out, Zetian, did they bully you again? Chapter 2 Sister Green Plum You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Oh, it's just a dream. It's nothing, just a bumpy experience, huh? You said no, you look dirty all over and have mud on your face. You must have been bullied by Long Tian and Long Xiao. Shen Meng held her pink fists in both hands and said angrily, It's okay, as long as your family and you are safe, it's okay. Your Zetian brother can resist beating. Zetian puffed up the muscles on his arm and said, Brother Zetian, continuing like this is not a solution to the end. Shen Meng didn't finish speaking, but Zetian reached out and touched his head, saying, All right, all right, there's no need to worry about this matter for Brother Zetian. I'll find a way to handle it. Shen Meng's small face blushed slightly, Can you stop touching my head? Touching my head doesn't make me grow tall. How old am I, humph? Zetian withdrew his hand and went home with Meng Meng. These days are the holidays after the college entrance examination, and with the results not coming out, the family is still sitting nervously in front of the computer waiting for the results to come out. After all, after special training, Zetian's learning ability is also one in a million among the experimental subjects, and their family's intelligence is very high, which can be considered to meet this requirement. Shen Meng and Zhe Tian are childhood sweethearts, playing from childhood to adulthood. Zhe Tian is a top student in the class and also a top student in the school. Shen Meng's grades are slightly better than Zhe Tian's, and their appearance is even more impressive. However, due to social anxiety and not showing up regularly, they always wear masks when going out. Shen Meng, who has an incredible appearance, has not shown much, so there is someone else named the school flower. For the two dragon brothers who bullied Zetian, they looked decent due to their background. Students on campus would only appear on school forums when they saw them. In reality, except for Zetian's good friends, no one else would show up for Zetian. That's all for now, Meng Meng. You should go back first. Well, brother Zetian, Meng Meng will go back first. Your homes are not far apart, they are all in the same community and building, which is why you two are so familiar. That, brother Zetian. Zetian, who was about to turn around, suddenly turned around and asked, what's wrong? Dream. Well, I don't have anyone at home today. Can I go to your place for dinner? Zetian heard it and said with a smile, of course it's okay, Meng Meng. Why are you so polite to Zetian? We're all old neighbors now, and my parents really like you. Shen Meng's eyes lit up as the last time she went to eat at Zetian's house was when both parties were in elementary school. Because Zetian's family doesn't stay at home very often. Both sides have things to attend to, so the intersection naturally becomes less frequent. So Zetian opened the door to his house, Dad, Mom, I'm back. Ozawa is back. Why did you go without telling me? Zetian's mother, He Taoying, was wearing an apron and holding a spatula in her hand. Meng Meng came to our place for dinner, but her parents are not at home today due to some business. Zetian didn't mention what he was doing outside, Xiao Meng is here to play. Hurry up and don't stand foolishly. Sit inside, said Zhe Tian's father Zhe Fuchi, thank you uncle, sorry to bother you, Shen Meng's polite greeting made Zhe Mu very fond. Zetian handed Shen Meng a pair of slippers, pinch it, put on your slippers first. Shen Meng changed into slippers and walked into the living room with Zetian. Zetian sat very casually on the sofa. 
Shen Meng, wearing a white dress, white calf socks, and Zetian's panda slippers, sat not far from Zetian. When it comes to those panda slippers, they were still worn by Zetian before. Since Zetian grew up, he hasn't worn them anymore and has been keeping them here. However, Shen Meng fits perfectly, so the special slippers provided by Zai's mother for Shen Meng appeared at home. Chapter 3 Shocking College Entrance Examination Scores You are listening at NovelFull.audio Father Zai, Zai Fuchi looked at the newspaper and saw Shen Meng sitting down. He immediately stood up and brought a plate of fruit over. Xiao Meng, let's eat the fruits. They have all been washed and can be eaten directly. Zafuki took out an apple from the plate of fruits and handed it to Shen Meng. Thank you, uncle. Shen Meng happily took the apple and ate it happily. Zetian has known Shen Meng for so long and understands her innocence as a little greedy ghost. So I watched this little guy eat apples foolishly. Shen Meng felt someone staring at her, her face turning red, as if dripping blood. Upon seeing this, Father Zay felt a sense of joy in his heart. From the bottom of his heart, he thought that Xiao Meng was a good child. So he showed a fatherly expression and smiled. Xiao Meng, both you and Ozawa have good grades. Which university are you planning to attend? Upon hearing this, Shen Meng swallowed the apple that was still being chewed and said. I plan to take the entrance exam to the local Magic City University, which has good conditions and is also a key university. Shen Meng lowered her head, blushed, and didn't speak. Zai's father was delighted to know that this was the university that Zai Tian was also going to take. He had already planned in his heart that this would be Ozawa's future wife. Father Zai let out a small cough and gave Zai Tian a glance. Zetian immediately understood and asked, Meng Meng, what major are you planning to choose? Law Law Major, so far I have been developing in that direction. Shen Meng's blush had not completely faded from her face. Let's eat. Let's bring some vegetables and scoop rice. P.S. Sichuan accent, scoop rice equals serve rice, Zimu called out. I'll help too, Shen Meng stood up and said. So on the table of five, a warm family dinner was displayed. After dinner, at 8 p.m., Zay's mother and father finished tidying up the household chores on the dining table and sat in front of the computer with Zay Tian and Shen Meng. Preparing to check the college entrance examination results, there is actually no suspense for Zetian. But we also have to go through the motions. At 8 p.m., it is the peak time for checking grades, and most high school students in China are checking their grades. Father Zay carefully entered Zetian's admission ticket number. Originally, Zetian planned to do it himself, but he couldn't resist Zay's father's failure to pass the college entrance examination. He also wanted to experience this feeling. So two minutes passed, and when I clicked on Zetian's transcript, it showed nothing white, possibly because the server was about to explode and I couldn't bear this level of login. After a while, Shen Meng and Zay's parents were both staring at the computer screen seriously, and the results were displayed language. 146 Mathematics 150 English 148 Comprehensive Theory 298 Comprehensive 742 This score shocked everyone present, of course, the scores of readers' dads are definitely higher than this, Shen Meng happily said, Zetian, you're really amazing. So while Zay's father was still happy, he made way for Shen Meng to check his grades. As expected, Shen Meng's grades are not far behind those of Shanghai University, Nanjing University, or Zetian University. Shen Meng scored 690, but compared to the monster like Zetian, she is still slightly behind. But Zhe Tian Kai, Shen Meng, this little girl is pure and hardworking. Zetian saw Shen Meng's grades and reached out to touch her head, saying. The progress is so great, Meng Meng. Before, you could only take the exam for over 500, but now you are almost one step away from 700. Shen Meng couldn't help but raise the corner of her mouth slightly when she heard the praise from Zetian. 
Fortunately, it was Brother Zetian who tutored me. My progress has only been so great, he he. Today's college entrance examination results came out, and Zay's mother and father were very happy. Our Zay family has also produced college students, and they are also top scorers, top scorers. Ozawa, your future is bright. By the way, Shen Meng hadn't asked Zetian what major he wanted to choose yet, Zetian brother, what major should you choose for your incredible grades? Shen Meng showed a very cute expression, and her eyes sparkled as she said. Computer major, technical design and software development. Computer science is great, this major will be very popular in the future. Shen Meng just took a long breath, fortunately the multimedia building was not far from the teaching building. You should know that the scale of Magic University has caught up with that of small towns. It's normal for freshmen to get lost. After reading the grades, Shen Meng didn't stay much, so he said goodbye to Zay's father, mother, and brother Zay Tian and went home. Uncle, auntie, and brother Zetian pay their respects. Chapter 4 The Beginning of Everything You are listening at NovelFull.audio After Shen Meng was seen off by his parents, the three of them happily spent the night. Father Zay couldn't close his mouth with a smile and a few tears in his eyes. Zay's mother burst into tears of joy, tears pouring down her face, as if she had seen her mother's youthful appearance. Zetian is now in the body of a blue star person, and has already fully understood his true emotions. It is not bad to experience this feeling. On the interstellar ship, some emotions were stifled and they became training machines. Now he has experienced a rare sense of warmth. Father Zay was holding wine and his son were drinking freely, and Mother Zay took out her phone to record this moment. Not long after, Zetian slept on the bed. At 3 a.m., Zetian was awakened by Lao K. Hey hey. Zero. Bid, don't sleep anymore. Organize the task now. Tisk, if you get sick during the mission in the middle of the night, even if it's your first mission. A space blue screen appeared in front of Zetian, projecting a young-looking interstellar commander. Actually, they may already be a few hundred years old, Zero, I am the interstellar commander. We are meeting for the first time and you are currently on Blue Star. We have received a report from the space exploration team that there may be space pirates coming to Blue Star to plunder resources in the near future. They have complete equipment and are equipped with cutting.edge equipment on the warship, which can be immune to most detection instruments. They will disguise themselves as human beings and infiltrate the interior of Blue Star. As an adult experimental body, you should have awakened as an auxiliary, and you can already exert 50% of your strength on the warship. The organization has now lifted the armed restrictions on you, and you can freely use level weapons. It is up to your judgment when to use and when not to use them. Nowadays, you can use force, but there is a sense of propriety. Use your strength where you need it. Alright, I wish you a smooth completion of your first mission. The commander showed a cold smile, causing Zetian to shiver. As soon as the words fell, the room returned to a dark environment. Zetian said thoughtfully, Lao K, do I remember that this space pirate was stolen by the execution department? Do you still have any disabled party members, you're right, but you're right. Don't think about bid for now, let's talk about it tomorrow. Sleep. Zetian fell asleep and Lao K shook his head helplessly, choosing to self-hibernate. The next morning at 10 o'clock Zetian stretched lazily and rubbed his sleepy eyes, hem, ha, 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 ha. The fierce man got out of bed, got dressed, put on shoes, and opened the door. Zetian's series of movements were completed in one go. Zetian opened the door and saw an empty living room. Even at this time, parents still have to go to work. Of course, Zetian has already become accustomed to it. Looking at breakfast and a letter on the table. Ozawa, it's time to relax and unwind after the college entrance examination. You've been working hard these days, and your parents still have work to do, so I can't be with you anymore. 
Dad has to work night shifts during this time, and Mom is on a business trip. There's a card in the letter with 6,000 yuan in it, so save some money. Love your parents Sitian held the card, feeling sour and mixed with emotions. He had no relatives or relatives on board the Starcraft Command headquarters and only had the number zero on his back. Now he was endowed with seven emotions and six desires, and inexplicably had some thoughts. Lao K. What's wrong with Zero? I miss your dad. Ghost. There's no ban on me from making money in the organization, right? Uh, it seems that the organization only stated the premise of completing the task without disrupting the normal economic development of the planet. I want to experience the feeling of being a wealthy person. Oh. This is not like that cold zero saying, M. You are indeed endowed with seven emotions and six desires, which can also be understood. Harmful. Let's go ahead and let your brother K find you intelligence. As long as I want, I can hack out state secrets for you. Hey, still Lao K, you understand me. Zetian extended his right fist and hit Lao K's little fist. Chapter 5 Making a Small Profit from It You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zetian has heated up his breakfast a bit, so it's almost 11 o'clock now. Zetian took breakfast from the local planet, deep dot fried dough sticks, soybean milk, porridge, mantu, and a poached egg. Zetian decided to treat it as lunch, so he even fried some steak. Zetian began to flaunt without any regard for his image. At 12.30, Zetian finished his post-dinner work and sat comfortably on the sofa with his phone, watching today's news. Lao K, what are the ways that Blue Star can make money? I'm not good at that, you know. Lu, just some of your technology can blow up the scientific research department on this planet. As an experimental subject, you can be a revolutionary figure for this planet. I won't get sick. My physical fitness is naturally strong, and I am resistant to diseases and bacteria. Don't make a fuss, I just want to know how to make money. You wooden brain, use your strength to move bricks. Lao K smiled and said. Okay, you old K, your skin is itching, isn't it? Hey, hey, wait, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, what are you doing? Ha ha ha, ha ha. Don't scratch this, ha ha ha. Huh, pant, ha ha old K has a smaller body and is very similar to the character in the two-character game next door, Doge, stop and stop, I know how to make money, it's like making huge profits. Lao K gave in, he can't bear it anymore. Zetian heard it and stopped his sinful hands, what's going on? If you still mess around, you'll be scolded for writing nonsense. Based on my calculations and speculation, taking into account the market situation, Bitcoin may be a bit more advantageous than Bitcoin, but it has been too long, and even if it comes to profitability, it will take more than 10 years. The only suitable option is to gamble on stones and speculate on stocks. Oh, but I don't seem to know anything about it. Your father and I can do it. Guess why the organization sent me to serve as an assistant for you, humph. Lao K. Jiao let out a snort, go on, go on, according to you. Zetian put on his clothes and felt very comfortable wearing them casually. Combined with his handsome face and fair skin, even casual attire did not affect his image. Firstly, Zetian and Lao K. arrived at a small machine repair shop. Boss, can I pay you for repairing things? The boss came out to see Zetian's appearance, and at first glance, he looked like a student, feeling that he didn't have much ability to make a few teasing remarks, okay, can you troubleshoot those computers? Let me give it a try. Zetian wanted to raise more capital, so he used his little money to make gambling stones. Later, Lao K calculated the good raw materials, but he couldn't afford them. The stock trading time was still a bit long, so he wanted to start with some fast money. Zetian sat in front of the computers pointed at by the boss, and upon checking them, 
he couldn't help but feel relieved that these computers were outdated and the problem was quite simple. Seeing that the boss wasn't paying attention, Zijin tried to open the computer and then troubleshoot the problem one by one. Seeing that the computer couldn't be opened, he directly extended a finger and pressed it against the USB interface. Zijin quietly released a mechanical spider into the computer's interior. After a while, Zijin pretended to touch all aspects of the computer left and right. The computer screen will light up. Then a series of provocative operations began. In no time, the nearly scrapped computers returned to normal use, and the boss was stunned as Zijin only spent half an hour repairing six computers he planned to take as scrap. Young man, are you so amazing? It's okay, the hard drive is okay, and I can fix any major internal issues. As long as it's not from Syria, I can still rescue it. The store manager and boss saw this young man and said, You're so amazing. Are you interested in coming to my place, young man? I'll give you 5,000 a month. Sorry boss, I don't like doing this kind of work. Ah. If it's a matter of money, how about this? A minimum guarantee of 5,000 yuan per month, and a commission can be added to the repaired machines. Thank you for your kindness, boss. I'm really not interested. The boss sighed and waved helplessly, saying, it's just that, how about I calculate 6,000 for you after you fix these six computers? Zitian nodded, took 6,000 cash, and put it into his one-handed shoulder bag. Turn around and greet the boss before leaving. Chapter 6 Invite Shen Meng to go to the gambling stone market. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zitian took over 6,000 yuan and felt happy in his heart, so he had the capital to gamble with stones. Zitian suddenly thought that it had been so long since Shen Meng came out to play. Today, he happened to let her and Zitian go together to make gambling stones. Zitian took out his phone and called Shen Meng. It was 2.30 p.m. at this time. If Shen Meng hadn't gone out, he would have gone with me. At this moment, Shen Meng was holding a group photo of Zetian and Shen Meng from their childhood and giggling foolishly, thinking to himself. Meng Meng, when your Zetian brother grows up, I will definitely marry you and make you the most dazzling and happy woman, well, good Zetian brother, Meng Meng likes Zetian brother the most. Meng Meng is willing to become Zetian brother's bride. Childhood vows wandered in Shen Meng's mind, and suddenly his small face turned red, highlighting a hint of blush on his fair face. Shen Meng's head was almost smoking. Suddenly, a phone call came, and Shen Meng was surprised. She took her phone and saw that it was from Zetian. It's brother Zetian. Hello. Meng Meng. Well, brother Zi Zetian, I'm here. What's up? Zetian's mouth curved slightly, do you have time now? I'll take you to a good place. If you have time, Zetian, I'll come down now. Well, you're not in a hurry. I still need some distance to go home now. I'll call you downstairs later. Ah uh ha, -huh, good Zetian brother. Zetian hung up the phone. What? You're about to start attacking Shen Meng now, kid. Isn't that right? Dreams, whether it's body shape, face, or personality, can be said to be dancing on my XP. Bid, you kid, I don't care about you anymore. By the way, how do you plan to find space pirates, Lao K? There is no need to help explore around Blue Star above. According to the command center, the space pirates' warships have hit Blue Star's face, and the locals probably don't know. I just plan to apply for a few unmanned warships to explore not far from Blue Star. That's right, that's all for now. Zetian and Lao K chatted and walked back to the downstairs of the residential area where Zetian and Shen Mengzhu lived. Zetian thought the girl needed some time to dress up, but he didn't expect that when he arrived there, Shen Meng was already waiting for him. Dreams. Shen Meng lowered her head to look at her phone and heard a familiar voice calling out to her. She suddenly looked up and said, Zetian brother. Here. I walked up to Shen Meng and scrutinized her attire. White dress, white sun hat, K 
calf white socks, princess shoes. It looks very youthful and cute, and the main white color scheme makes Shen Meng's temperament even more adorable. Shen Meng felt Zetian carefully scrutinizing her, using her delicate little hand to pull down the edge of the sun hat and cover half of her face, adding a touch of blush to her face. Brother Zetian, have a good dream. Take a good look. Zetian was mesmerized by it, and upon hearing Shen Meng's inquiry, he finally regained his senses. Very suitable for you, Meng Meng, very cute. I really like it. Zetian pulled up the sunshade hat that covered his face and tapped Shen Meng's nose with his hand, smiling and saying. Shen Meng was even more embarrassed by Zetian's action, her face flushed like drops of blood, and a wisp of smoke seemed to be coming out of her head. Seeing Shen Meng even more shy, Zetian smiled and said, Okay, okay, I won't tease you anymore. I want to go to the gambling market today to see if there are any good products. Would you like to accompany me? If you don't want to go, you can refuse. This girl seems to understand that I'm taking her to play and I need to find an opportunity to compensate her. Ah. Oh, it's okay, Brother Zetian. Meng Meng is willing to go with Brother Zetian, Shen Meng said, lifting her red face. Then, let's go, my Royal Highness Princess. Zetian stretched out his right hand, and the gentleman bowed to Shen Meng. Shen Meng saw the situation and thought to himself Princess. Extending their own hands in Zetian's hands, the two walked out of the community hand in hand. Along the way, many passers-by looked at the two of them, with a 100% turn-back rate. Look, that girl is so cute. This handsome man and beautiful woman are really a perfect match. How could Shen Meng not have heard it? She was already overjoyed in her heart. My little face is as red as an apple. He he, princess. So, is Zetian brother just? My prince. Shen Meng thought to herself, giggling foolishly. Chapter 7 Encountering the Dragon Brothers by Chance You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zetian was mesmerized by the silly smile on Shen Meng's face. She laughs like an angel. Feeling Zetian staring at him again, his face immediately turned even redder. Zetian casually called a taxi, and the two of them got into the taxi. The taxi driver's eyes lit up when he saw Shen Meng's outfit. Young man, where are you going? Go to Shudao Ancient Street, master. Okay, young man, is this cute little sister your girlfriend? From taxi drivers, it's common to have a common problem, which is not really annoying, but Shen Meng is a pure social anxiety. He didn't even have many friends throughout his high school life. Upon hearing this, Shen Meng immediately lowered her head and the sunshade hat on her head also hung down. No, it's one of my good friends. I don't know why, but when Shen Meng heard Zetian's words, she felt a bit uncomfortable in her heart. Harmful, young man is not an uncle either. I'm talking about you. You two have a relationship that passers-by can tell at a glance. Oh. Uncle, what do you think our relationship is? The driver saw in the rearview mirror and Zetian winked at him, instantly understanding. What's your relationship? At first glance, you're just a boyfriend and girlfriend. You handsome man and beautiful woman are a perfect match. All the way, Zetian chatted with the driver, but it was all about his relationship with Shen Meng. This made Shen Meng feel embarrassed to death, but her heart was still warm. At least Brother Zetian did not express his dislike for her. After getting off the car, Zetian and Shen Meng walked side by side into the ancient street of Shu Road. At this moment, the distance between their hands was very short, but Shen Meng didn't have the courage to hold on to Brother Zetian's hand. Zetian felt that Shen Meng was paying attention to his hands. He directly pulled up Shen Meng's small hand, and the feeling of holding the big hand and the small hand made Shen Meng feel much more at ease. The feeling of social anxiety also eased a bit. Shen Meng trembled slightly, as if frightened by Zetian's behavior, but the feeling of holding hands made Shen Meng feel warmth spreading from her hands to her whole body. Lao Kei, 
stop waiting and lead the way. Zetian had a conversation with Lao K in his heart. Old K also transmitted messages from his heart to him, the gambling market is not far from you, not far ahead, in the Tsueju garden. It has already been taken over by the Jiang family and a gambling competition has been held. You two show dog food, and I have already eaten it all the way, Jimiao, Kono Yalu. Harm, thank you, Lao K, he he. The conversation between Zetian and Lao K was almost completed in an instant, Zetian said, holding Shen Meng's delicate little hand. Let's go, dream dream. Well, good Zetian brother. Oh, why didn't you stutter this time? Zetian joked that, humph, where, where, where? After speaking, Shen Meng took out her pink fist and danced on Zetian's Tian's chest, angrily saying. Zetian and Shen Meng walked into the ancient street of Shu Road, where the voices of vendors were shouting. Hey, Ming Dynasty Ceramics, take a look. This guest, these are all top dot quality goods. Take a look. Zetian took Shen Meng's small hand and walked into the Tsueju Garden. Many people have already gathered inside the stone cutter to see if this stone can turn green. Zetian slightly clenched Shen Meng's small hand and said, Grip it tightly, don't get lost. Hmm, brother Zetian, how old am I? I can still get lost. Shen Meng was unhappy. You will always be a child in my eyes, ha ha ha. Faced with Zetian's teasing, Shen Meng was both angry and shy. The sudden entry of the two caught the attention of some people, Look, that girl, take a good look, hee hee. Who is that man? Even if he's handsome, the women around him are so pretty. Look who's here, isn't it Zetian? Suddenly, a mocking voice emerged from the crowd, and as expected, Long Tian and Long Xia walked out of the crowd. Looking at Zetian with a contemptuous expression, he pointed at Zetian and said, This is not where you should come, Zetian. Zetian was about to see the stone when he was mocked by the dog. Chapter 8 Gambling Stones You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Long Tian, don't go too far. Shen Meng said. Oh, isn't this a dream? With your noble status, you shouldn't be standing with this useless station. Come to my brother's embrace quickly. After speaking, he wanted to reach out and catch Shen Meng. Put your dirty hands back to me, Zetian grabbed Long Tian's hand and said fiercely. Shu, it's not your turn to speak here, Zetian. Laozi's woman, dare you touch me. I'll depose you. Zetian glared at him and said. Long Tian was taken aback for a moment. Is this still Zetian who she and Long Xia bullied casually before? Brother, stop talking nonsense and just beat him up and throw him out. Don't, everyone here is a guest. I think Zetian is also here to gamble on stones. Why don't we make a bet? Ha! How do you want to gamble? Zetian smiled, and with his height and technology, he dared to raise a gambling stone with himself. Let's just gamble on the stones. Let's each choose one stone and see who offers the greater value. How about that? Ha ha ha, can we make that bet? Upon hearing Zetian's laughter, Long Tian shuddered and pretended to be calm, saying. If I win, you'll leave dreams forever. If you win, I'll kneel down and kowtow three times to you. How about that? Zetian was overjoyed and spread his hand, saying, sure, but isn't your punishment a bit lenient? What do you mean? I want you Longshir brothers, both Long Tian and Long Xia kowtow three times in front of me. Zetian. Don't go too far. Shen Meng pulled the hem of Lei's Tian's clothes, afraid that he would lose, and she never paid attention to her again. Simple Shen Meng looked at Zetian with worry. It's okay, don't worry about me. Believe me, brother Zetian. Besides, even if I lose, I won't let go. Originally, Long Tian wanted to use this to pretend to be thirteen in front of Shen Meng and see Shen Mengfang's heart, but he let this kid pretend. I'll see how you end up later, Long Tian snorted coldly, okay, I'll take this bet, Long Tian replied, ha ha ha, it's interesting. 
Let me be a witness to this, an old man walked out of the crowd. Jiang Lao. Many people bent down and lowered their heads towards the old man. Obviously, he was very afraid of this person named Jiang Lao. Okay, this matter is witnessed by Mr. Jiang. Yu Zetian can't just keep your word. Zetian sneered. Let's start then, said Jiang Lao. Everyone on site allowed the two of them out of the venue, after all, they were all here to have fun. Big brother, this won't overturn, right? Looking at Zetian's confident expression, I'm a bit worried, Long Xia said to Long Tian. Harm, with Master Lin here whom I hired, this gambling stone can't be easily captured. Besides, Zetian is just a graduate who has just finished the college entrance examination. What skills can he have? Under Long Tian's words, Long Xia calmed down. Little brother, you've had bad luck meeting me this time, Master Lin sneered at Zetian. Ha, this kid looks like a student who hasn't done anything yet. What skills can he have? Master Lin thought to himself. Zetian snorted coldly, silently reciting in his heart, Lao K, open the heavenly eye. All right, I've been displeased with this kid surnamed Long for a long time. Suddenly, a flash of light flashed in Zay Tian's eyes, and he continued to look at the stone, passing by without any special feeling. Suddenly, his gaze fell on a piece of stone. Okay, that's you. The passers-by watching the play next to him saw Zetian selecting a very inconspicuous stone in the waste stone area, and they were all discussing Zetian. This young man appears to be an outsider and has chosen the most inconspicuous stone. This looks like a piece of waste rock no matter what. In the midst of discussions among others, Mr. Jiang also frowned thinking that this handsome young man's confident appearance had any special abilities. Shen Meng, who was watching from the side, clenched her fists and prayed to Zetian to win this gambling game. He he, an outsider is an outsider. I chose a piece of waste stone, ha ha ha, Master Lin sneered. Laugh. The young master will make you unable to laugh later, Zetian murmured to himself. Zetian walked up to the stone cutter and said to Master Lin, Master, please come first, Zetian said with a harmless smile on his face. This expression really made Master Lin very unhappy. Damn it, what are you pretending to be, giving you too much face? Master Lin handed over the stone he had chosen. Subsequently, Master Lin's stone was only cut into small green pieces. Although the quantity was small, it was also worth a little money. However, this was selected by him in the high.end material area, and the money he earned at most offset the price he bought. Zetian smiled and drew a picture for the stone cutter. Master, please cut this stone for me according to this. Stone cutting master, after looking at the picture, his face furrowed. Although this stone is very large, why did he start cutting in the middle? Although the master was a bit puzzled, he could only follow the requirements. The stone cutter has started, the first step of cutting. The whole scene was boiling. It's so big when it turns green, so big. It's imperial green. This jade seems to be of high quality. Is that all you have in chapter 9? You are listening at novel full dot audio. No, 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 how could it be? Don't worry, we haven't finished cutting yet. Zetian said as the subsequent knife work came to an end. A huge imperial green jade appeared in front of everyone. Shocked the whole audience. This big piece of imperial green looks top dot notch, at least 30 million yuan. Jiang Lao's pupils shrank and he was very shocked. It seems that I have misread. This young man still has two brushes. I'll give you 30 million yuan, sell me this imperial green. Just you. With such a large piece of imperial green, I'll pay forty million. Young man, don't listen to him talk nonsense. Your imperial green is so big, at least eighty million yuan. Pooh, pooh, who are you? I'll give you ninety million and I'll take it. Shen Meng had a shocked expression on her face, her mouth wide open. Is Brother Zetian so powerful? 
Is this jade so valuable? Young man, I am Jiang Chong Tian, the head of the Jiang family. I have a crush on your piece of jade, and I will take one billion yuan. Zetian was taken aback, as this could support him for a lifetime without worrying about food and drink. But he pretended to be calm and said coldly to the Long brothers who wanted to run away. What? Are you planning to run away after losing? The two young dragons. Zetian. Don't bully people too much. Oh. Didn't you provoke me first and still get involved with my girlfriend? Humph, who's your girlfriend? I haven't agreed yet, Shen Meng muttered. Damn it, Ze Heaven. Long Tian took out a fist the size of a sandbag and attacked Zetian. Zetian calmly grabbed Long Tian's fist with one hand. Are you not eating? Long Xiao. Damn it, Long Xia, come and help me. Long Xia gathered his energy and concentrated his mind, punching with a punch that was truly powerful. I didn't expect that Long Xia was still a martial arts practitioner. Judging from his posture, he must be a disciple of a certain master. Go to hell, Zetian. Long Xia roared, be careful. Brother Zetian. Zetian sneered coldly. Oh, why is Zero so good at pretending to be thirteen, roast from Lao Ke. Second level physical strengthening, Zetian silently recited. Zetian shook off Long Tian, put on a posture, and easily caught Long Xia's fist. He grabbed Long Xia's arm and directly threw it over the shoulder. Zetian's series of smooth movements made Jiang Zhongtian's eyes shine. This young man's strength is no less than that of Long Xiao. I didn't even feel the presence of Qi in his body. He caught Long Xia's fist with pure strength. Zetian said coldly, Damn it, it's you. Then Zetian disabled one of Long Xia's arms. Ah 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 ah. A pig killing cry came out. Long Tian quickly came over to help his younger brother, Xiao Xia. Xiao Xia. Are you okay? Brother, take you to the hospital. Wait. When Long Tian grabbed Long Xia's other hand and leaned it against his shoulder, Zetian said to Long Tian. Knock your head first before leaving, Zetian looked at the two people fiercely. Brother, ah, it hurts me so much. My hand, my hand. Long Tian felt a strong sense of fear and even heard the sarcastic remarks of passers-by standing next to him. Willing to gamble and accepting defeat, why do you still run away? I have known for a long time that these Long brothers relied on their family's wealth to bully others everywhere, and this time they also suffered retribution. Ha, I dare not lose if I bet. These Long brothers are not good either. Upon hearing the words of the passers-by, Long Tian wanted to break Zetian apart, but he had to swallow his anger. Knock, don't fuss. With the urging of passers-by, the Long brothers had to follow suit. Sorry. I was wrong. With the sound of apology, Long Tian and Long Xia lowered their noble heads and cowed out three times to Zetian. Finally, Long Tian helped Long Xia, who had broken his right hand, Leave the scene in a disheveled manner. Ha ha ha, Brother Zay, you're really amazing. Long Xia is also a martial arts practitioner, and you killed him with just one punch. Jiang Chong Tian saw the young man's extraordinary and quickly came over to flatter him. The passers by next to him all came to flatter Zetian. Brother Zay, how about buying your jade for one billion yuan, big brother, said Jiang Chong Tian, brother Jiang please do as you please. This jade is of no use to me. Looking at Zetian's respectful face, his heart was already overjoyed. Ha ha ha, ten thousand becomes one billion. Does this money make money for sauce purple? Shen Meng dared not speak on the side, her social anxiety only allowed her to silently look at Zetian. Suddenly, I felt that Zetian was too excellent to be worthy of him. Zetian was surrounded by many people and suddenly remembered something, so he waved at Shen Meng. Meng Meng, come over here. Shen Meng was surprised, but she quickly ran to Zetian's side, and everyone gave Zetian a way out. Brother Zay, 
Your girlfriend is really beautiful. You are so lucky. Where and where, Brother Jiang praised me absurdly. Brother Jiang is the one. Your wife is still young and beautiful. Upon hearing Zetian's words, Mrs. Jiang quickly smiled and said. Brother Zhe is really good at joking. I have grown old and become an old lady. This wave of commercial hype is really confusing for passers-by. Shen Meng watched from the side and felt that Zetian and Jiang Lao were like good friends they had known for many years, chatting very enthusiastically. Chapter 10 Waste Stone You are listening at NovelFull.audio Brother Jiang, where will you need my Zetian's place in the future? Just speak up. A smile appeared on Jiang Zhongtian's face. Brother Ze, maybe there's something I need your help with in the future. You're so skilled at gambling stones. Can you come over and help me see a stone? Brother Jiang, there's no need to refuse. Let me take a look at some stones. Zetian and Jiang Zhongshan, along with a group of melon-eating crowd, came to a stone. Shen Meng also followed behind. Shen Meng tugged at the hem of Zetian's clothes. Brother Zetian, when did you acquire this skill? Shen Meng asked, tilting her head. Guess what? Zetian smiled and said, humph, forget it. Shen Meng asked in this way, which was actually selfish. Previously, because Zetian had an extraordinary talent for learning, now he feels even more unworthy of Zetian's abilities. I will have the opportunity to tell you in the future. Don't mention such things now, okay? I will always be your brother Zetian, Zetian said with a smile. Shen Meng nodded and felt a little better. Brother Ze, this is this stone. Take a look at it. Zetian listened and looked at the stone in front of him. Tianyan activation. Zetian scanned the stone with his gaze, his eyebrows furrowed slightly. This stone has a good color and looks good. It will definitely produce good materials. Mr. Jiang has a good eye, this stone is a good thing. Yeah, there are overflowing jadeite on the outer surface, it looks like it's all good material. In the midst of everyone's praise, Jiang Lao's face remained unchanged, but he watched Zetian playing with the stone. The value of this stone is not that exaggerated, it's only worth a few thousand. Ah. Young man, you. This, this looks like it's making Mr. Jiang feel uneasy. What's going on? Jiang Zhongtian frowned, knowing that he had spent 50,000 yuan to buy this stone material. Brother Ze, is this stone really worth a few thousand? Well, Brother Jiang, you can't just look at the appearance of the stone. This stone may seem like a high dot quality piece of material, but it has its own unique holes. Could you please cut this stone, Brother Jiang? Jiang Zhongtian frowned as he had seen Zetian's abilities. Someone, cut the stones. In the eyes of everyone, this stone was cut into a shape that no one had expected. How could it be? As Brother Zetian said, there are only a few small pieces of jade. Brother Ze, you're amazing. The jade with only a few fingers length is not really worth much money. Under the gaze of everyone, Jiang Zhongtian was even more convinced of Zetian's abilities. Brother Ze, you can see it all. Jiang admires and admires it. Jiang Lao Gu praised me absurdly, and in the future, if you can use the place where I am Zetian, just speak up. Definitely, is Brother Ze leaving? Let me see you off. Seeing Zetian and Shen Meng about to leave, he quickly came over to grab this thigh firmly. No, 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 there's no elder to bid farewell to the younger generation. Don't make fun of me, Mr. Jiang. Zetian smiled and said. Lao Jiang, pay attention to your image. After hearing his wife's words, Jiang Zhongtian reacted. Showing a friendly expression. Brother Ze, take your time and have a drink when you have time. Definitely. Brother Jiang. After speaking, Zetian took Shen Meng's hand and walked towards the door. That, Brother Zetian. What's wrong? Seeing Shen Meng's twisted expression, Zetian wanted to bully her. 
Where are we going next? Zetian pinched Shen Meng's small face with his hand and said with a smile. If you have money, of course you go spend it, he he. Shen Meng was surprised. There was indeed a huge sum of money in his hand, why didn't he spend it? This is money that an ordinary family cannot earn in their lifetime. You're rich enough to play like this, right? Don't forget that you still have to complete the task. Pirates may have infiltrated the Blue Star. Lao K couldn't help but worry when he saw Zero's relaxed appearance. Okay, okay, let's talk about it later. I can't see the whereabouts of the pirates yet. I also want to experience the feeling of being a wealthy person. You kid, hey, it's up to you. Zetian brother, why are you daydreaming? You didn't even respond to me when I called you just now. I, did you get angry? Shen Meng looked innocently at Zetian. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Meng Meng didn't do anything wrong. Just now, Brother Zetian was thinking about how to spend this money. So, Brother Zetian, with so much money, what are you planning to do? Let's leave a portion as the principal first, and use the rest for stock trading, hee <laughs> hee. Brother Zetian. There is a high risk of stock trading. Well, but I have confidence. Hmm. With Brother Zetian's ability, he must be easily captured. Come on, Brother Zetian. Shen Meng put on a cheering posture, which made Zetian laugh and cry. All right, all right, let's first think about how to arrange this money. Well, Brother Zetian, you can actually save some money in the bank and earn money even by earning interest. This is not interesting, your Zetian brother wants to make a lot of money. He he wanted to touch Shen Meng's head, but when he saw Shen Meng wearing a hat and couldn't get down, he was sad. You can just steal some fun, said Lao K suddenly, a phone rang. Oh, what are you doing? Hi, 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 ah, ah, ah. Hello. Zetian asked, Heavenly Brother. Heavenly Brother. After the college entrance examination, come out and play with a few brothers. On the other end of the phone, what are you playing with, monkey? The class monitor held a party and invited everyone in the class and the class teacher to come. Are you coming? In thought. Okay. Come on mail sign, okay, brother Tian, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock p.m., we'll see each other at the Haogong KTV. Well, I will come. It's 4 p.m. now, there's still some time until tomorrow. Anyway, I'll just say Tian Gu is coming, said the monkey. Well, thank you, Zhang Ho, said a beautiful and lovely girl. Of course, my relationship with Tian Gu, Iron Brother, said the monkey proudly. I promise you that the reward will not be reduced at all, Zhang Ho, said the woman. Thank you, Sister Li, he he. Zetian. I will definitely get you. The woman nodded slightly and smiled with an evil charm. Zetian, who's on the phone? Shen Meng asked with a tilted head. Monkey, my buddy, he said the class held a party to celebrate the end of the college entrance examination. Oh, can I go? Let's forget about Dream Dream, after all, it's from our class. Humph, then why don't you ask if it's okay to take your girlfriend? Um. Forget it, it's just going to sing at night anyway. Hey. Okay. Looking at the disappointed Shen Meng, she settled in Zetian Bungbu. She looked so cute and wanted to bully her. Returning home at night, after finishing the meal prepared by his parents, Zetian chose Zay to take a shower directly. Ha, huh, Shu Tan, Zetian said, Zero. Zero. The space pirates are about to receive news, ah 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 ah. Why are you? There, said Lao K. Oh. I'm taking a shower. What do you think? You can still speak well like this, Iron Bay. Tell me quickly, what's the news about space pirates? They are already within the controllable blue star range, so I don't know what they are going to do. It's just that, let's see what they're going to do next. After all, our mission is only to protect this planet, 
not to hunt space pirates, he waved his hand and said. Um. It seems like you're right. Wait, you put on your clothes first. Lao K said shyly what's wrong, blushing. Come on mail sign let me take a look. Brother Ling, no more. At night in bed, exhausted, just lie flat and sleep. Experimental subject, number zero, hee hee, enjoy the surprise we have prepared for you. The mysterious person smiled.